Okay, our next inductee is, she was Becky Miller when she played here. She's now Becky White. Um, before I talk about Becky, I would like to introduce her parents, Ellis and Mary Lou. They're sitting here. You don't have to stand. I know that uh, not everybody wants to do that. But Ellis and Mary Lou are seated here at the table with Becky. And they, they, were, uh, they were great fans is what I remember about them. Uh, I don't know if you missed the game, but uh, I would be surprised if you did. I, I just know from those years they, they were really loyal and came to everything. Um, Becky has four sons, Boone, Logan, Cameron, Trevor. Becky has triplets, so uh, Boone, Logan, and Cameron, and Boone and Logan, we will ask you two to stand, are here tonight. <laughs> and also Becky's sister, Lori, is here tonight. Becky competed uh, for both teams, volleyball and basketball, from 1982 to 1986. She was all district for four years in both volleyball and basketball. Then Becky was all American for four years in both volleyball and basketball. She was the first woman in NEI history to accomplish this. And I don't know for sure, but I, I would imagine she's the only woman to accomplish that in those two sports. There, there may have been uh, like a cross-country runner who also ran track that might have done that. But I, I would be real surprised if there was anybody else who did it in both volleyball and basketball. It's, it's hard to convey in words. I, I thought last night I was reading through this, and I thought to just read that, uh, it, it that's not right. We should have some trumpets playing back here, or <laughs> you know, maybe a marching band come through. I, I, um, I just think eight out of eight seasons she was an All-American, and uh, that, that's something that should probably take 30 seconds to reflect on. We won't, but I, <laughs> I, 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 I just think that's so impressive to think about that each of her seasons she was an All-American here. In volleyball, she still holds career records for attack percentage, blocks, and ranks third in kills. In her senior year, the 1985 volleyball season, she led her team to its first NAI championship appearance. The team was the national runner-up, and Becky was the most valuable player of that tournament. In basketball, she averaged 20.2 points and 12.5 rebounds for her career. Now, when I read that a couple weeks ago, I, I thought, I gotta check that. That might have been her senior year. It can't be for four years, but sure enough, that she averaged for her career 20.2 points and 12.5 rebounds, which uh, is, is really impressive. <laughs> okay. Becky still holds career records for points, 2,411. Rebounds, 1,492. Field goals made, 933. And free throws made, 545. She also helped Biola reach the NAI National Tournament in both in basketball in both 1983 and 1984. And I remember watching those district championship games those year and, and how well she played. So. What I said about Wade, the great players are really good in the big games, and, and uh, Becky was really good in the big games, in those basketball games, and of course she was the MVP, as I just mentioned, of the, the National Volleyball Tournament that, that year as well. This was uh, just a little anecdote here. Uh, I was talking to her coach, her volleyball coach, who lives in New Jersey the other day. Um, I knew Becky was a great athlete, but we were having some fun talking about that. Uh, Joy Heritage was her name when she coached here. It's Joy Solomon now, and she was a good friend. So it was fun to catch up on that. But she, we, we talked about um, how strong she was and how well she jumped, what a, what a good athlete she was. And, and Joy told me that 
in one game, she, she hit the ball so hard that she actually knocked out the opposing setter for a couple of minutes. <laughs> As long as you acted like you were sorry, that's okay. I think so. <laughs> I have I have uh, two letters to read. One is from uh, Becky's pastor, uh, Tom Lance, who is a senior pastor at the Grove Church, and he writes: Becky brings many of the incredible qualities she displayed on the court to her ministry at the church. She is passionate, hardworking a great leader, the ultimate team player, and is just fun to be around. And, and I can certainly concur with that. Becky is loved at the Grove and in our city for her involvement and concern for people. Becky is an incredible teacher, but what is best about her is her love for God and all people. We are very fortunate to have Becky on our team. When you give her the ball, she can still score. And then the second letter is from, from her former coach, uh, Coach Heritage. Becky Miller was an outstanding individual and athlete that I have the privilege of working with and coaching for three years. She had an unbelievable passion for the game, and this passion was easily observed on the court with every hit, block, and her play in general. She was by far the most outstanding athlete I have ever coached, and it was exciting to watch her growth and development as a woman and an athlete throughout our time together. She had a tremendous work ethic, was very coachable, and I knew I could count on her to get the job done in any situation and hold the team together to fight through adversity. As I took a few moments to write these lines, I did so with a smile on my face as many memories returned of the wonderful years we had as a team during my tenure as a coach. Becky led a group of outstanding women, and I was fortunate to have the privilege of coaching them. Becky was a four-time All-American in volleyball, but she remained focused and continued to work hard each year to improve and became an even better player and leader, never resting on her laurels. She had a quietness about her, and I don't remember that, but uh, <laughs> Becky was so friendly and vivacious around the office, but I, I'm going to go with that. But <laughs> Becky had a quietness about her, but was always smiling and, of course, was mischievous from time to time, which kept me on my toes, trying to keep her in line without laughing. Her leadership and talent was never displayed more than in the NAI National Championship match when she led the team back through the loser's bracket to have us reach the final game against St. Mary's. Although we did not win the match, her play throughout the entire tournament was so outstanding she was named MVP a most rewarding honor for her and her teammates. I thank the Lord every day for the opportunity I had to coach at Biola and for bringing Becky into my life. I know she has continued to walk with the Lord through some difficult times and continues to be an outstanding individual as a mother and Christian leader. Congratulations, Becky, on an outstanding career, and may God richly bless you as you continue to follow him. Okay. Becky.